Hi guys, Andy here again, and this is video four in a beginner's course showing you um, various different uh, strumming patterns on acoustic guitar, which is totally fine for electric as well, just giving you the foundations of rhythm guitar. And in this video, we're going for some eighth strumming down and up variations. Now we have one strumming pattern and then four different variations that we're going for, but the same rule applies. So for every um, strumming pattern that we're going for here, the action of your hand wants to be downs and ups. One and two and three and four and. Down strums on the beat, up strokes off the beat. If you haven't come across that before, do check out the second video in this series, video number two in the playlist where I show you how that's done. Um, just as an example of that, if I choose a G chord, which is probably the most common chord in my beginner's course around this level, we want to be doing one and two and three and four and. And bear in mind that this is appropriate to medium to fast songs, so around about 100 to about 150 BPM. Down and up strumming is appropriate for any song. Um, but we have some variations here, which are all written on my website, andyguitar.co.uk, um, laid out on a sheet, which you want to check out um, on the website. Have these in front of you as you're going, because they're quite specific. And the first one we're going to go for is down, 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 up, down. So, therefore, your hand is always going for the motion of down, up, down, up, down, up. But we're... Um, we're only catching the certain ones that we want to catch. We're not hitting every one. So we're doing some false strums. We're doing the action of a strum, but we're not catching the strings themselves. So we're going one, two, three, and four. Strum, strum, down, up, down. <laughs> Let me demonstrate that one more time. Down, 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 up, down. Down, 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 up, down. Now they don't always have to be as big a loop as this. I'm just kind of demonstrating to make it obvious what, what's happening. You actually want it to sound as natural as possible. If I choose a D chord as another example, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. As with all these strumming videos, we have a drum loop that you can play along to. So let me just demonstrate this first variation and the original one along to this count. We have a two bar counting. And here's a song. One and two and three and four. So every time will be variation number, well, the original strumming pattern. And we have variation number one, which is down, 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 up, down. Now, I'm choosing a G chord here as an example, but you could choose any chord. Whichever new one you're working on, you know, if you're working on a B7, go for it. If you can change between two chords, maybe a G to a C, so one, two, three, and four, one, two, nice and regular, C, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and back to G, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and C, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. At a regular interval, that would be perfect. That is variation number one. Variation number two has a pause in it, so we have down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And this is where we should understand the concept that the beat still exists even if you're not playing on it. So if we go down, down, up, down, we have to wait for that beat for one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Nothing happens on it. I don't even have to mute because it doesn't say to mute. It just says pause. It just means the, uh, the last drum continues. But you want to be comfortable doing that along to the record with any of the chords. As I say, you can check out a, a C to an F change as an example. Four, one, two, and three, four. And as I say, any of these variations you can use in the same song, but they're all a gateway to getting you to use some higher level strumming. Any of the strums, songs that you're currently doing with down and up strumming, we can move to, to any of these higher level ones. Variation number three is probably the most common out of all these. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. 
Uh, in all these variations, we're only taking away the up strums. Uh, we'll be taking out down strums a little later on. Uh, variation number three, one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Down, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, and three, and four. Down, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Variation number four is down, 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 up, down, up. So again, all these are pretty similar, but can you do one as opposed to doing the other? Are you aware of which one you're doing? And this is where we learn to kind of master your strumming hand, to really control what you're doing here. But let's have a go at this variation number four, which if you play it kind of silly fast, this will be the strumming pattern to, to wake me up, which is one of... Uh, my videos that I've filmed already, a video lesson on that. Wake me up by Avicii. Down, 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 up, down, up. Definitely have to speed these up a lot. So that is down, 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 up, down, up. If we stay on the G chord, one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. And then maybe go to C chord in one, two, three and four and. Down, up, down, up and back to the G. And end it there. Just let me demonstrate that one more time along to this drumming, um, this drum loop, which is, um, again, embedded on my website if struggling to kind of find it. But we're going, for, for any of these variations, eighth strumming, down and up variations is the name of this kind of lesson. Two, one, two, three, four, variation number four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Variation number three. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. It can definitely get complicated. Don't worry if you lose track. You just have to kind of work through each of them on your own. So variation number three still. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Variation number four. One, two, three, and four, and. Good. And one issue that a lot of people have is how do I change chord when we're doing all these downs and ups, especially if it's fast, you know, if I'm doing down, 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 up, down, up. Say my chord changes are pretty quick, but you just can't comprehend how to change that quickly with the strumming as well. There's a bit of a trick to it with downs and up strumming. The last, or with any strumming pattern, really, once you get up to a certain speed, the last and, the offbeat of four, you can lift off your chord, where we essentially play this chord for one, for half a beat. As long as you're down on the next chord, for the next downstroke on beat one, it's totally fine, and that's actually, we kind of make a feature of it. So if I give you an example from a G to C change, one of the most common changes on certainly acoustic guitar, if not in music altogether. If we go for down, 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 up, down, up, for example, variation number four. Sounds pretty solid acoustic guitar, but if you listen carefully, I'm very much, I'm playing this chord. The, the nothing chord, I have no fingers down on that off beat of four. But when I play it faster, especially, I mean, it doesn't sound bad there. We could make a feature on it. But it is very much coordinated. Down, down, up, down, off, down, 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 up, down, off. It's not by accident. I'm planning to do that. This is variation number four with a bar of C and a bar of G. 
So that's how to do our down and ups variations and this is how to make your down and ups one and two and three and four sound a little cooler. Don't worry if you're not fully up to scratch with it yet. Keep what you already have solid which is what we've covered in the earlier three videos. Um, the next video is going to be trying to sex up your eighth strumming all downs with some accents. So check out that one and uh, I'll see you there.